The neat thing about being an all-reserve train is when everybody's on board, you can leave early. The waiting room full of happy, excited passengers. As often happens, today's train is sold out. Hi. We have selected a roomette. Scanner in place. Our next door neighbors for the journey. Lockable doors and complete privacy if you choose to close the curtains. This will give you some idea of what a roomette is like, despite the very dim lighting. And we are underway. I set the scanner to search the entire railroad band, since there are frequency changes for the various divisions. And with a dinky antenna, you're just going to pick up nearby transmissions anyway. It's amazing the number of rivers we cross through Virginia. And throw in a few extra treats.
Alright, I got the 54512 five, five, applied to the L70320 as well as the crew, and uh, okay, proceed south where you stand. Keep following Amtrak 91 uh, south at Crossroads. You know, let me know what kind of signal you got at Hamilton. Over. Looks like we'll be stopping at Ashland. Let's listen in. Doswell, we cross over the ex Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad, now part of the Buckingham branch. to Ashland, where the dispatcher reminds us of the crossing gate malfunction. Also going on is a narration of the history of the town. Flag the crossing. All right, crossing secure. Come on. The offending crossing. A northbound Amtrak train is also approaching the same crossing. Since the crossing is being flagged, the northbound can just fly right on through. In Richmond, we historically changed railroads from the X, Richmond, Fredericksburg, and Potomac to the Atlantic coastline. The route through Richmond to Petersburg.
Could this huge structure be a holdover from the RF and P days? Passenger your main approach signal at AY. All right, approach at AY. We'll be three hundred. We are facing west. On the other side of the train is Richmond's huge Aka Yard. We are reminded of the rich history of railroading in this area by the vintage signals and other structures and the generations of railroad people. And the sons of Pullman porters and the sons of engineers Right there, father's magic carpets made of steel. As we prepare to cross over the James River, there's even more history below us. The XCNO, now CSX. And a very brief glimpse of the X Southern, now NS. We are about 50 miles south of Jacksonville now, crossing Rice Creek, said to be one of the deepest in the state. Passing through railroad name Pecan, at one time the Atlantic coastline, which we are now traveling on, interchanged with the southern here at uh, Pecan. The southern tracks have been removed with the exception of about three miles of track that leads to a huge Georgia Pacific plant. We are facing west. On the other side of the train is the Palatka Amtrak station. Crossing over the St. John's River at Buffalo Bluff. Okay, coming into the normal. I just uh, watch out. 
Our second crossing of the St. Johns River brings us into Sanford. As we approach the Amtrak station, please check your seats for any personal belongings, cell phones, or smaller items that may have suffered the trickle-down effect. Let me tell you what a pleasure it has been having you travel with us. Admittedly, half the fun was bringing it to you. The whole idea for a train watcher's vacation was to seek out trains. Not always did it work. Sorry not all the episodes had trains, but you must admit there was some spectacular scenery. We are now making the turn off the main line to the auto train facility. For those of you that have watched the first six episodes, may I say that I have a great deal of respect for your courage. Maybe we can come up with a plaque or something for you. Now, we must all squeeze into this tiny capsule as... The Railroad Time Capsule now returns you to your present year. Where will the Railroad Time Capsule land next? Why not subscribe and find out?